People make choices everywhere and all the time. Every time they buy a product or service, they make a decision. These small decisions determine the success or failure of your business. To grow your brand, you need more people to choose your brand over the competition. You need people to choose your brand more often. And then you need to make it easy for people to choose your brand. So growing brands is about understanding and influencing how people make choices. Meet Paul, who likes milk chocolate. He buys chocolate every week. When Paul thinks of buying chocolate, his brain processes the options unconsciously and on autopilot mode. The brand he enjoyed in the past, the brand he saw 10 minutes ago on Facebook, the brand that he notices right in front of him on the shelf, the brand that his mother gave him after falling off his bike when he was five years old, the brand he knows is better for his health. Paul immediately compares all the options, the pros, the cons, and in the end, he chooses the brand that maximizes the answer to those conscious and unconscious needs and perceptions, Juno. Now that you know how Paul forms choices for chocolate, you will be able to influence his decision in favor of your brand. And I'm going to explain how. Your brand is more likely to be chosen if it comes positively to Paul's mind, if it is part of his consideration set. It has created a strong mental network for Paul. In other words, it has a lot of positive associations, both functional and emotional. It beats the competition on these associations and therefore represents the highest value choice for Paul. Those three dimensions form what we call brand desire. In short, for you, it means finding ways to connect your brand to the things people care about. But customers can't always get what they prefer. Paul can only find his favorite chocolate, Juno, in family pack size. Paul is single, so he finally decides to buy his second choice. This is what we call market effects. Even if your brand is the first choice, it might not be bought because it doesn't have the right pack size or price. It's not available in the store or it doesn't have the right promotion. It wasn't easy for Paul to get what he wanted, so he went for a different option. So, to recap, Strong brands create desire for people and manage the market effects well to translate desire into purchase. BVC is simple and actionable. It combines the components of strong brands into one indicator called effective equity. And because effective equity correlates to sales, you know that by following our recommendations, you will improve sales. Plus, BVC will also indicate your future growth potential. With BVC, you focus on how people's thoughts and feelings are linked to the choices they make and their behavior in real life. You benefit from a straightforward and deep analytical framework. You always get recommendations and a clear action plan. And BVC speaks to all stakeholders, the marketing team, the ad agency, and commercial teams. And that's how you unleash brand growth with Ipsos.